Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a term worth having when you're living in the streets and camping outdoors on a regular basis because someone decided to commit fraud on your life, identity theft, and basically cybercrime you all the time, you sort of sit there and look at them and go, who the hell left you to make you God in my life? When I say this simple conversation, this simple idea, I really wonder who these police people are that keep thinking that they have rights to my life. When I wake up after an audiophile attack and I see what they've done to me, I am pretty pissed off. And what I know is that if any man had this done to them, they would be pretty ready to pull out a gun and shoot it off. The truth is that in life we have moments of time to establish what is truth and what is not truth. Your truth is what belongs to you, but my truth is what belongs to me. In the God's house that we know as pagans, we have many truths. What we know is that the soul is breathed into the human being. But we also know that through the birth canal, there are many birth defects that occur. A lot of them today, some people don't even acknowledge as a defect at all. They want to brush it underneath the carpet. They want to do something with it. But what we also know that a good 50 some years ago, they didn't know how to handle certain birth defects that were coming through that canal after estrogen poisoning and other types of, of idiosyncrasies within the chromosomes and whatnot. But here's what I know. The human body belongs to the individual. It doesn't belong to some total stranger. It doesn't belong to some sibling. It doesn't belong to some mother or father. It belongs to the individual. And when I see people abusing humans, trafficking humans, and not thinking about where their rights begin and end in the world, it really miffs me off. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And you may be a visitor to our country, but that means your visitorship is going to come to an end soon. You may be a student in our country, but that means that you eventually have to take whatever the fuck you learned here in our country back to your home country and try to make a better country out of your own. But if you're here abusing people, if you're here violating rules, if you're here destroying our rights in some way or another, you're going to end up in a place that, well, you might not like. In life, we can tell you the truth about life, that when you die and go to the afterlife, there is an afterlife, and where you go will be based on what God decides for you, you know. And if you don't believe me, then you probably haven't seen any good movies about Christ or about heaven or about earth. But the truth we know is that the demons of the world are always the people who are willing to cut, harm, maim, and destroy other people's rights.